so today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own crocheted belt. I'm super excited about this because I kind of got the idea after I saw someone using Tunisian to make a crocheted belt. And to be completely honest, I don't really have the patience to do the Tunisian knit stitch because to me I just think, oh, why not just knit it? I don't know. That's just my thoughts on it, but I thought, man, how cute would it be if you could crochet your very own belt? So I decided to do it. And so all you're going to need is some worsted weight cotton yarn, a size F crochet hook, and some D-rings, depending on how wide you would like your belt. So this is what it ended up looking like. And what's unique about this belt is you only work on the right side. There is no turning in this project which is kind of fun and a little bit different and it just gives it a very cool unique look. Like always I will have the written instructions on my blog which will be linked down below and let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make your very own belt. Okay guys so I'm going to show you how to make your very own belt. So what you're going to need is you're going to need some worsted weight cotton and I'm just going to be making my sample in the sugar and cream bright blue shade. So that's what I also use but in a brown shade for my belt is I use sugar and cream and you will just need one skein. So what we're going to do is we're just going to chain however many you want. I chained 170 for mine which was a good length and next time I probably will make mine a little bit smaller just because it's a little too big for me but that's totally fine but I'm just going to show you how I'm just going to make a small little sample for you so you can see kind of how I made it so I'm just going to chain some okay and then you are literally just going to single crochet this entire belt it's only five rows so for the first row you're going to single crochet in the second chain from hook and just single crochet all the way across So there is our first row. The odd thing about this belt is it's literally all going to have one right side and one wrong side. We're not going to be turning at all in this belt, on this belt. So at the end of your row, you're just going to chain one and we're going to fasten off. So we'll just cut that, tighten the knot, and then we're going to join we're gonna go back to the other end and we're going to join so you will have a lot of ends to tuck but trust me it's so cute how it turns out so we're going to join chain one and we're going to single crochet all the way across So here we go, here is our second row, and you're just gonna continue to fasten off, go back to the other end, single crochet all the way across, and then fasten off, and keep repeating that until you have a total of five rows. And now I will show you how we're going to make the actual belt. Okay, so here is our finished belt, the yarn that we use to make it. We have some D-rings, and these I believe are two inch D-rings. So they're a little bit bigger. I, you can get them on all different sizes depending on how wide you would like your belt. So these are kind of in this iron shade. And then I have my needles to sew it on and then a pair of scissors. So we're gonna get our belt and we're gonna flip it over to the right side. Okay, so this is the left side of the belt and this is the end we're going to be sewing the D-rings on. So we're gonna take the two D-rings and threading them through and then we're going to make sure there's a little bit of a gap so they can kind of move around a little bit. We're gonna cut off some yarn to be able to sew that little flap down. 
So I just knotted it just to make sure that it doesn't pull through. Okay, so here is my needle. So we're just going to thread that through. And now we're just going to sew this on. go back over it again just to make sure it is nice and secure So those are all sewed on and we just want to make sure that it's snug on there. So there we go. And then we'll just weave in the ends and then your belt will be all finished. All right guys, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know down below if you decide to make this belt, what color you're going to make yours in. I decided to make mine in a brown color just because I don't, I don't know, brown to me is like the perfect summer neutral. I always go for, tend to go towards browns and whites in the summer and then I go towards more black and grays during the fall and winter months. So I'm really excited to be wearing this very soon, but I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!